maybe we can identify just in the brief time we have three reasons why sometimes laws that have allowed abortion either on um, broad grounds or on very limited grounds um, may, may actually not enable access in practice. Um, and I think affordability and um, how the, the, the abortion services are being covered by public health insurance, being integrated into health systems, subsidisation schemes is, is one factor um, that can sometimes impact access even where abortion may be legal. Um, often also in terms of countries that have not legalised abortion on request or on socioeconomic grounds, the certification processes that um, must be followed through to obtain access, for example, on a health ground or in situations of fetal impairment or rape, where there isn't a request or socioeconomic ground in the law, they can often be very onerous certification processes that can involve multiple levels that a woman must go through or multiple um, doctors, social workers involved in certifying the reason, the existence of the reason. Um, and I also think we have a number of other barriers we see in some countries which can relate to um, waiting periods, for example, or um, mandatory and sometimes biased counselling requirements. Um, but I think what's probably true to say for Europe is that in the countries that we saw in green and in light yellow in the map, um, while of course it's not to say that there aren't sometimes problems for women in accessing legal services, in general these countries have taken an approach which is to enable women's access to services in their law early in pregnancy at least. And that often means that then um, some of these barriers create less problems. In terms of sexual assault, I think again, I did try to address it in the slide, that in fact all of the 36 countries in Europe that have legalised abortion on a woman's request in early pregnancy mainly, um, thereby allow women who have survived an experience of sexual assault to access abortion in early pregnancy through that ground. And I think that that is probably one of the ways in which many, many women across Europe who have faced sexual assault, if they then choose to um, have an abortion, that, that it's under that ground that they do so. Um, in relation to those countries in Europe that have explicit sexual assault grounds in their laws, many of them include a particular certification process. Um, the most common process is a committee or a number of doctors and social workers must um, look at the case and uh, agree that the reason is in, has occurred, that the sexual assault, that there is evidence for it. Um, some countries require a prosecutor or police certificate um, and speak to the, the need for clear evidence um, and, or sometimes for a, a legal procedure, a criminal legal procedure to be initiated. Only one country talks about a process before a court in the case of sexual assault. But I think what's really important to understand is that in fact um, 40 countries out of 47 in Europe allow access in a general sense on request or socioeconomic grounds in early pregnancy and it's probably in that way that women access in situations of rape. Move on to yes. Dr.